the future of flight at the press of a button. We're at Westchester Airport about to take off in this Cirrus SR22 to experience their new feature, Safe Return. It's where you press the button and the plane lands itself. But in addition to that, there's even an emergency knob that releases a parachute. We're on some next level Batman stuff here. While self-landing technology exists in some commercial jets, most passengers may not even realize they've experienced it. Bringing this capability to a smaller consumer accessible aircraft is a game changer. Today we're flying in a four passenger plane, the new SR22 G7 Plus. It's the first single engine plane with a self-landing feature they call safe return. The plane only lands by itself. To get it off the ground, you have a pilot, Ivy McIver, a Cirrus team member since 2006. Ivy's a licensed airline transport pilot with multiple ratings, has logged over 5,500 flight hours, and is an aircraft owner. So in what situations would we use these safe returns? Um, so there's kind of a couple different situations. One, if something did happen to me, um, it, like if I passed out, a passenger could activate um, safe return and land the plane. The plane can actually detect if I'm flying erratically or if I'm not interacting with the plane. Um, so it would be able to detect something is wrong and would automatically activate itself. When you first learn how to fly, you are basically kind of able to fly in nice weather like this. But if I was only licensed to fly in nice weather and then I flew into a cloud and I was in the cloud and couldn't see, I might get really disoriented or confused about where I am. And that would be uh, a great example of a time where I might, even as a very capable and alert pilot, I might push the button myself. And you can kind of think about it is if something happens to the pilot, whether they're incapacitated or they're disoriented or they're confused or they're flying erratically, safe returns are a great option. So here's another question then. The safe return buttons hit, but then the plane starts malfunctioning. Can you still hit the parachute? And, and yeah, you sure can. Whenever you are ready, you can go ahead and reach back and land the plane. The future of flight in the press of a button. Come on, Carly. One, two, three. Emergency We're getting the auto warning land emergency activating. Auto land is activating. So now emergency auto land has taken control of the airplane. Do not touch controls. Do not touch controls. Correct. This is really cool. So now it's going through its calculations, trying to um, decide what airport we should go to. You were kind of calculating the route. And now it's saying it's identified Stewart as the uh, the nearest, most appropriate uh, airport. It says descending in two minutes. Yep, so now we're turning left. We're descending in two minutes. We're gonna land in eight minutes. In a real life activation, the system would actually be broadcasting. They'd be notifying air traffic control that we are declaring an emergency. We're going to Stewart. We're 16 miles away. We're estimating the field in seven minutes. And then this is all for passengers. So this is how fast we're going. This is what altitude we're at. We've got 2.8 hours of fuel remaining. And you'll see as we're maintaining this cruise speed, the mixture will move, the power will move. So the system has control of everything, including the ice protection system, the flaps, the fuel pump, the mixture, the throttle, the navigation, the radios. Um, Safe Return is controlling all of that so the passengers don't have to. And this is the path we're gonna take. Now you'll see this circle here that is drawn at the map. In case we were up really high, we would basically, circle it doesn't- to, Circle it, to get down altitude. Correct, right? It doesn't want to just like descend us down at a, an uncomfortable rate, right? So we're going to descend at a nice, even, steady, um, shallow descent. In a place right here where there are hills, it can't really descend, but so low right here as well. That's right, yeah. Like, so it's going to maintain at least a thousand feet above any terrain or obstacle. It doesn't want to make anyone uncomfortable. All right, so we got just like a little burble over the oh, water. Oh, there's always wind over the water. Like I sometimes know. the water kind of like you'll kind of get that burble. But you saw the autopilot handled it beautifully, added a little bit of power, it dipped handled the ring. It, it handled it better than me. <laughs> I'm looking at the instruments. It says approaching runway, descending the runway, miles remaining, four miles, landing in three minutes. We're aligned straight ahead with the runway as I'm speaking to you. I do have the option here to press this button if I want to talk to air traffic control right here. I'm just keeping my knee away from the control arm and enjoying the flight outside of the wind knocking us sideways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've got a little bit of wind up here. The next phase of this landing sequence is when we're about 60 feet above the runway. You'll see the power come all the way to idle. 
about 50 feet above the runway, we start to fly the flare sequence. So we're coming in a little higher and a little faster than an, a human pilot would. So it needs to bleed off some airspeed before it actually touches down on the runway. So you'll see it kind of like float down a reasonably far away down the runway and bleed off that airspeed before it actually touches down. One minute, Carly, till touchdown. Let's see how close the center it is. Pretty dang close the center. Yeah, so now we're at 60 feet above the runway. It's pulling back that throttle. We're kind of flying the flare, using a little bit of pitch, kind of bleed off that airspeed. And there we are. Nice. Very nice landing. Pretty pretty close to the center line. It's gonna kind of reacquire the center line here. So that's the auto braking system engaging the brakes. I landed the plane. <laughs> so now it's gonna bring back the fixture. Yeah, I see that. It's moving on its own. The engine comes to a complete stop. And then boom. And then we have this. Wait for the airplane and propeller to come to a complete stop before exiting. That was cool. One moment that took some getting used to was when we activated safe return. A gust of wind pushed the plane to the left. Uh, Holy moly. All right. <laughs> all good. A human pilot would respond with reflexes, but with AI, it's all about real-time calculations. I was impressed at how quickly it adjusted. Another reassuring feature of the G7 Plus is its built-in parachute system. I asked whether the plane is salvageable if the parachute is deployed, and I was told that it's modular and can be restored, which is reassuring that I too will make it to the ground in one piece. Any landing you can walk away from is a great one. Thank you for watching and check out more awesome stuff at CNET.